Hello there guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. For all of you Resident Evil fans, this is going to be the video. So let's get into it as always. Now this comes from Rely on Horror, which is quite a reputable source. If you go check the website, and as always, I'll post the link of the article in the description, you can see they accurately report on a lot of different Resident Evil related content, such as the movies, the live actions and the CGs, a lot of the various spin-off games, among other content as well that isn't Capcom exclusive, but it is all fairly accurate. So let's get into it anyway. They have a translation of an interview done on the Japanese website for Capcom, so this will be the official website, and it revealed there's apparently a new title in development. So getting into the quote anyway, I can't announce anything yet, but as of now I've been developing a certain product. Please look forward to it. Now remember, this comes from Resident Evil 7's director, Koshi Nakanashi, and he was talking with Yasuhiro Anpo, which is the director of Resident Evil Revelations 2. The reason that Rely on Horror may assume that this is a new Resident Evil announcement is it was based on a spin-off in context to Resident Evil 7's success and how it has managed to make it easier to develop and iterate on other elements of Resident Evil, and then they followed with this quote. So it's very, very likely it is a Resident Evil, but there's no official confirmation there, and I do think it's jumping the gun, it just looks quite likely. Now as you all know, Resident Evil 7 still has two pieces of unfinished DLC to release, the Not A Hero DLC which is free for everybody, and then there's going to be a Final Story DLC which is just for the season pass holders or people who purchase it separately by itself. So it's quite surprising to hear that they've already got another game in development again, Remake 2 is also being developed so I'm not sure how Capcom is splitting their resources between all of these things but it also is another possible reason that Not A Hero has been delayed. If you think about it, producing so many titles at once is going to be a little bit difficult. They don't have the largest studio to commit to 30 games individually, so I just see that the delays may have some kind of link there. Again, Capcom might fully be capable of doing all of it, but it just seems a little coincidental that they've been working on a new game, Not A Hero's been delayed, and Remake 2 still has no information. I think Capcom might just be splitting themselves a little too thin here. The other point people might want to hear about is the fact that this is not exactly the best adequate to the fans. While the DLCs that still have a big plot twist to explain not a hero with Chris being part of Blue Umbrella and also the story DLC, why are they working on a new game already? Is that a little bit unfair to the fans? I'm not saying it is, but I think it's a good topic to discuss in the comments if we can do that civilly. Don't insult Capcom, don't insult each other, just bring your points forward and just talk about it like people. So looking at the director being the director of Revelations 2, it is kind of possible that it is a Revelations 3 announcement in its first stage. We'll get to see more of the backstory to the characters, I'm not sure which person they take this time, but we've already seen Jill, Chris, Claire, and let's not forget, Barry. Those are the main characters introduced. Of course, there is more characters you get to play as, such as Parker, and I can't remember those two American trolls. One of them was like the armed soldier and the other was the hacker, but the main cast We've already covered those, so possibly we might have Leon in the next Revelations, or maybe we'll just get a continuation of Jill and Chris again. I certainly don't think it's Resident Evil 8 just yet. I think it's too soon for Resident Evil 8 to be announced in development after Resident Evil 7. If you really consider it, the Resident Evil titles have a large amount of time in between development and release of each one, so it seems a little bit too early on the gun for this. I'm just really surprised they decide to announce these things native to some Japanese interview on their official website instead of announcing it at E3. That to me, I just don't understand Capcom with these things. But on that note, I just want to say one last thing before I do end the video, which is that we might get some details at TGS. So for anyone who is unaware, TGS is the Tokyo Game Show. It's a big gaming event 
in Japan and they show all sorts of massive games. Now Capcom actually participates in TGS every single year pretty much. They've released tons of information about the other Resident Evils, older ones such as 4 through 5 and 6 at TGS giving us specific details, big plot twist reveals and other things. So yeah, the likelihood is if anything is going to come out now, considering it wasn't at E3, it will be at TGS so look forward to that, that'll be at some point in the next year. Not too soon though, so you'll be waiting a little bit. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. This is a great announcement to hear and this should make you guys excited to be honest, especially if it is a Resident Evil title. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a subscribe, that's all I ask. Anyway, as always guys, have a beautiful day, take it easy, and peace.